Hi, and welcome to another SEO Hangout with Josh Brzezinski. That would be myself. Uh, today I've got some interesting uh, leaks and uh, uh, SEO tips and information for you, uh, mostly from Mr. Cuts. That's right. Today we are going to tackle Mr. Matt Cuts, uh, Mr. Catmuts, um, which is maybe a treat for you, my regular viewers, because as you know, I typically talk about Mr. John Mueller. Uh, but today it's going to be mostly Matt Cuts, except I think I have just some remaining uh, John Mueller. I'm a, just to show you I'm a complete liar, uh, I think I have some John Mueller um, bits to finish from his last hangout on the 10th, which I was talking about last time. But then I will get to Matt Cuts. So let's get right to it. Let's see what I had planned. Oh, yes. So, yes. So I wanted to finish off uh, John Mueller's... Uh, uh, tips that he mentioned. There's some very interesting ones actually to mention. However, before that, I wanted to make a public service, uh, an SEO public service announcement vis-a-vis uh, 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 -vis rant. I wanted to rant at you, and this is one that's coming right from Josh, old Josh Paczynski. Um, please, for the love of all the hockey in Canada, stop deleting your links. Ah, stop thinking that because your ranking is bad, which you don't even know because you haven't tracked it on a regular basis, go and therefore decide that it must be your spammy links you were making, and then go and delete them without talking to a professional first. This is like thinking that a lump under your skin is a cancerous tumor without talking to a doctor and deciding to take it out with an X-Acto knife by yourself because you're worried about it. It is lunacy. Stop. I have had at least 10 people contact me in the last two weeks who have thought that they had bad links and thought their rankings were weird and thought they had bad links and thought they should disavow them or delete them or, or, or ran certain programs with certain companies that I'm not going to mention that analyze your links and tell you which ones are supposedly bad. They have no way of knowing that. They have absolutely no way of knowing that. No SEO has any way of knowing what links are bad. That is an entirely subjective uh, and useless abstraction that has no relevance upon anything until Google hits you with a linking penalty of some sort, of which there are many, and not all of them are penguin. So, I don't mean to sound a little upset. However, it irks me that people damage their own rankings uh, and uh, and waste their money and uh, freak out because of these idiots at Google who make you all worried. And that was their plan. That was their plan was to make you all worried so you would go delete your links. So don't. Um, until you talk to a professional. Don't cut out the lump under your skin thinking it's a cancerous tumor without talking to a doctor first. And in this case, do not go and delete your links or disavow your links without talking to a professional first. Namely, one who knows, really knows how to check and really knows what they're doing. Um, and if there was any other good ones I would to recommend, I, I would. I would, quite frankly. I haven't met any recently. Um, here's the other part of the rant. Do not, for the love of Buddha, do not, if you have a partial uh, match, a natural link notice, a partial match, where the action is taken versus links, do not go and submit a reconsideration request. There is absolutely no need for you to submit a reconsideration request. That will All that will do is choose more links out of your backlink profile, wrap them out, wrap yourself out to Google, and diminish your, your ranking by that much more links that you decide to choose beyond the ones that Google has already decided are somewhat suspect and have decided to automatically no-follow. That's what it means when they send you the partial match unnatural link notice. The action is taken versus links. Your backlinks, they automatically no follow the ones that look suspect or fishy to them, but they can't tell if it was negative SEO or if it was you making it because they're not as aggressive or as commercial search phrase anchor text as per normal and or not in the, the standard um, paid link or link trading spaces like the sidebar, the footer, uh, or a links page or things of that nature. So in their uh, absolute morality, they've decided to be nice and to only take an action against your, your, your links. So 
Do not submit a reconsideration request. You don't need to. All you're doing is further hurting your rankings, further writing yourself out, further helping Google figure out the linking we've been doing. Uh, you're doing nothing good in any way, shape, or form, and you're just making it harder for any SEO who has to come and work for you later. Uh, caveat, this is not a gripe on my part because you're making my job harder. You're not making my job harder. My job is dead easy. SEO is dead easy. Uh, it is simply an exercise in risk mitigation, uh, which all of these things were directly against risk mitigation. Therefore, don't do them. Don't do them at all. Okay, so there's my rant. And now I will talk about John Mueller's stuff and get to the stuff he talked about, and then I will rant, rant about that. Uh, and for those of you just tuning in, this is usually how my talks go. I rant about stuff. You know, some information is leaked. Maybe some good inform SEO information, possibly. I don't know. I rant. I like to hear the sound of my own voice, which is why anybody who makes videos pretty much does it, is the entire reason. Okay. So, as I said, back on February 10th, John Mueller was having a hangout. And he did mention some very... And then I'll get to cuts after this. Uh, oh, Matt... Um, so, John Mueller mentioned some interesting stuff. One, I think it's pretty much only one or two interesting things he mentioned as well uh, that I had left from the last, last video. One, he said something very interesting that Google is getting really good, and I mentioned last week about Google is getting really good at reading your content, figuring out what it's about, who wrote it, why they wrote it, what it's for, um, what it is in terms of a concept, in terms of an idea. Is it a product page? Is it a product? Is it describing a product? Is it a, is it a, is it a review for a product? Is it a positive review for the product? Is it a negative review for the product and or company? Is the company in this town? Are they in, ta in that town? Do they have contact information? Who works for that company? Are they the CEO or not? They're starting to relate all these concepts and all these ideas automatically. That's what Hummingbird did. They rewrote the algorithm entirely. They were already pretty good at it before, which just string, a text string uh, um, comparison. Now they've got a little bit more logic and, and stuff built in there. And at XMX West, in March 10th, I'm going, and uh, Mitt Singal is going to be there, Matt Cuts is going to be there too, uh, and I'll be, um, uh, I'm expecting some more information about it, because it's been a whole year since it's been released, and Mitt Singal doesn't go to these things all the time, and so I'm suspecting he'll have something to say about how it's working now and more stuff like that. So I'm expecting... XMS West, if you recall last year, XMS West, not XMX Advanced like the year before, was the big conference where Cuts was there, a bunch of Google employees were there, and they mentioned uh, their war on links is what they did last year for the entire summer for, for those poor people who remember Penguin being released and then the Payday Loans algorithm being released, which I showed in my video analysis uh, how it's pretty much just Penguin going after target niches. If you want more information about those videos and any other informa SEO information, uh, you can find it all on my videos. I've probably mentioned it somewhere. Um, uh, my videos, you can find them at youtube.com slash jbachins, J-P-A-C-H-Y-N-S. You can also email me any questions. If you don't want to go through hours and hours of my videos and listen to my, my charming voice, for whatever reason, you might not want to do that. Who could possibly know what that would be? Uh, the reason. You can always email me at uh, joshbachinsky at gmail.com with any SEO questions that you might have. And you can follow me at Twitter at Josh Wyshynski. Okay, so John Mueller was talking about stuff, and there, Google's getting much better at figuring this all out. He did mention some other, something. I mentioned a lot of that last week. He also mentioned something else that I didn't have time to mention last week, so I'll mention it now. That they're also getting much better at using their machine learning, largely because of the disavow files people are submitting. You um, don't feel guilty. Don't feel bad at it. Lots of people are doing it. Trust me, I literally had 10 people contact me saying that they had links and, uh, and they deleted them or disavowed them and didn't need to and hurt themselves. And Sorry. Anyway, <laughs> ah, moving on. Um, uh, Google will automatically add a nofollow on their side. These are John Mueller's words. Google will automatically add a nofollow on their side if it is user-generated or submitted content. Uh, so... People are using programs like SC Nuke, for example, or uh, Xrumor, or you know, Scriptbox, whatever. They've been posting to all these public forums and public uh, blogs and uh, forum profiles and things like that. And uh, my uh, uh, are seeing that they're automatically being no-followed. The links are being de-indexed, um, and all kinds of things like that are happening. In fact, my Orange Platoon Cucumber experiment, remember that uh, over a year ago now? My Orange Platoon Cucumber experiment, which showed that forum profile links over a year ago did have some juice, 
has finally, they finally stopped ranking just recently. Uh, although three blogs, I just used forum profile links, and then there one, one blog one was completely uh, duplicated. Blog two um, was spun, but the same anchor text. And blog three was spun, everything was spun. There was no duplication at all, and the, the anchor text wasn't the same. All three of them have stopped ranking very recently uh, and been and been punted down either off the to page two or at the very bottom. Uh, so that was interesting that he John Mueller said that recently that they're automatically no following forum profile links and all these kind of public sites. Any site with a login, if there's a login to uh, get on that site, Google will analyze it and realize it's a public post site, and they will automatically, uh, you know, by a factor of a number, by by some factor of numbers, um, they're are gonna, they're going to detrust uh, the links coming off that site. You know, if it's got Anything else, like a search phrase anchor text or any other kind of spam factors, be a young site or a default template, uh, being an Insta blog, you know, an obvious blog or obvious spam blog or obvious Insta blog where no one cares, no one posts, it's a standard WordPress template. Those are the kinds of links they're automatically going to no follow, and they're getting much, much better at it. And so this is happening, and people are going and deleting more links or disavowing more links, which effectively deletes their links because they think they've got some kind of linking penalty and people don't understand and you need to talk to somebody who understands before you go shooting yourself in the foot. Okay, so the next thing that John, I'm gonna mention that a bunch more times because it's really annoying me. <laughs> so so, so I, I warned you, I warned you, this is SEO Hangout slash Rants with Josh Pashinsky. Um, okay, so another thing that he mentioned and I, I, I called this months ago, I saw this coming um, you know, and, and Google's done this a bunch of times for a bunch of different things. They've done it with speed. I suspect they're going to do it with, uh, they've done it with mobile rankings, not having 301s or having a mobile site. And they've done it, uh, they're, uh, they're going to do it with HTTPS, as I said, a couple weeks. And now they've already done it. He said, uh, and I quote, John Mueller said, make sure JS and CSS is not blocked. And he seemed to strongly imply in that Hangout, you can go and, and watch the Hangout yourself to see if I'm reading more into it uh, than, than you think, but it seemed to me he strongly implied, and he's pretty clear when he implies it's a ranking problem. Uh, you know, he gives that tone and has that look on his face. He strongly suggests you don't do it. Uh, and he even says sometimes it's, it could be, it's probably a ranking problem. It could be a ranking problem. Uh, and that's how I know that that's his ranking problem face. <laughs> That's how I know. So um, he strongly implied that this would be bad for ranking. I suspect uh, blocking your JS and CSS. They've been telling you for over a year now not to do it, and that's what they do. They tell you for a year not to do it. They tell you for a year not to have bad speed. They tell you for a year not to have a bad mobile experience. They tell you for a year not to block your JS, JS or CSS. They tell you for a year not to have uh, HTTP site. You should serve an HTTPS, and then they give you a penalty for it. That's their modus operandi, right? Because they're moral people. And so at least they warned you. And then they, you know, they didn't tell you there'd be a penalty because they can't, you know, because that's their new modus operandi as well, not to tell you what the algorithms are or what they do. Even the ones that are negative, which I have long had a moral argument with John Mueller directly, face to face, and I've also bugged Matt Cuts on Twitter and, and he's responded back and we've bickered back and forth. Um, you know, more bickering on my side than on his, <laughs> fully admittedly. Probably about, you know, a factor of 99 to 1. <laughs> but uh, and in terms of caring, apparently 99 to 1 uh, from my side to his. Uh, but this is what they, the modus operandi is. Even the negative uh, SEO factors they won't tell you about, which which is ridiculous, but only be, probably because of negative SEO and probably because it's just, they're just arrogant and probably because it's their corporate policy is just not to talk about it at all the way they screwed up and told us about links. And so we went and made links all over the place and then uh, uh, helped make Google what they are. And then now they're penalizing us for it. Uh, because if we didn't go make links, uh, they would never be able to understand the contextual relationship uh, as easily as they did between the anchor text and the pages they point at. So uh, we trained their algorithms and now they, they now they penalize us for it. Thanks, Google. Um, yeah, so he said, make sure your JS and CSS is not blocked. So, uh, boy, boy, today's a ranty day, I'm telling you. Like, I'm, like, it's Friday, it's ranty. Like, I feel ranty. I'm wearing my Blue Sun t-shirt. Uh, by the way, I will give uh, 10 Josh Bucks to the first person who can tell me what this is and where it is from, and without Googling it, I'll give you Josh 10 bucks. Uh, Josh 10 bucks, that's what I'll give you. I'll give you 10 Josh Bucks 
I almost gave away more free SEO stuff. Boy, SEO Xmas was nuts, let me tell you. It'll be a long time before I do that again. Okay, so um, anyway, it's Friday. You know, I could be drunk already. Who knows? I'm just saying. Okay, so the next uh, thing that John Mueller mentioned was, uh, okay, and then someone, so somebody asked, and so people get on the Hangout, and they think that John Mueller's going to tell them the truth because they're on the Hangout on a regular basis. And so one of the regular Hangouters, but not really, really one of the friends of John Mueller's, I've noticed that he seems to be friendly with the guys, mostly German or German-speaking people, it seems to me, um, or at least people in Europe at the very least. He seems to be more friendly. And I've, I've, to tell you the truth, I've debated learning German just so I can go and listen to the John Mueller Hangouts in German, because I bet you dollars to donuts that he leaks a little bit more to people in his own native language. Uh, he's not hes not German, he's uh, Swiss. But as I understand it, uh, German is his uh, native language. Uh, and I bet you he leaks a little bit more with those guys. Uh, anyway, I bet you dollars to donuts. And I've considered learning German just so I can go, or hiring someone who, can, who understands German. If you understand German fluently, and you want to listen to his Hangouts and tell me what he talks about, I'll pay you. There you go. Not not just Josh bucks either. I'll pay you real bucks. Not even bitcoins. I'll pay you real real dollars, real American dollars, even though I'm Canadian. Because, um, you know, my dollars wouldn't buy you anything. You, know, you might as well send you Monopoly money. Uh, I apologize to all the other Canadians out there. Um, so, um, but, but, you, but you know what I'm talking about. Um, so, yes, so he said, um, so, someone, so someone cornered him and tried to get him to admit that um, Google uses uh, user behavior for ranking in terms of going to the SERP, clicking a result, going to the site, and clicking, not liking it for whatever reason, clicking back, and then clicking another result. And um, he, he, of course, he denied it. So if, if you're cornering him, he's going to deny it, even though he's fully admitted it in different ways before. And the book in the Plex, in the Plex, has fully admitted that, that they already use that click-through rate for an algorithm already. So he's already admitted it. Uh, even my cat knows walking by. She's disgusted. She's going to lie in the bed. But, um, but, but if, you, if you corner him, uh, you know, at a conference, unless he's your friend, or on the public hangout, obviously he's going to deny it. So he emphatically denied it. He denied it like crazy. It's, oh, no, we don't do that. No, no, no. We couldn't do that. It wouldn't be a good signal. It's too noisy. We don't use anything like the analytics bounce rate. He said all his stock standard responses. However, then he added right after that, he strongly, quotes, strongly, quote, recommends watching for pure, poor user satisfaction. Okay, um, well, why? Um, is that just because you're being nice, John Mueller? You just want us to succeed? Bullcrap, you want us to succeed. You don't give two flying fracks if we succeed. Um, you have half a conscience in that you're an IT guy, and so you're giving support. And so someone said, you know, do you do this? You have to deny it, because otherwise you'll get in trouble. And I, I've probably gotten you in trouble in the past, and I apologize, John, if I have. Um, asking you blunt questions. This is why I don't go on the Hangouts anymore and ask you blunt questions. Um, uh, but somebody cornered him, and so he had to deny it emphatically. But th they already have full, tons of admissions that they do, and I have experimental data proving that they do. Uh, Google, please don't kill me. So, um, and then he said, quote, he strongly recommends watching for poor years of satisfaction. So if you have to watch for user satisfaction in the context of a ranking discussion, clearly they're using it as a ranking signal. So anyway, it would benefit your conversions. And so because I do care, you know, to a minimal, reasonable degree, uh, not knowing who you are, the proverbial you, um, uh, you know, it'll increase your uh, your conversions. It'll increase. Uh, it'll, it'll improve people using the site, and and yes, it will help your ranking, as far as I can tell. Okay, now we've got around ten minutes left. It's time for the cuts. All right, so cuts had a bunch of videos lately. I'm gonna attack them all. I'm gonna just no. I'm not. I'm just gonna explain. I'm gonna interpret what Mr. Cuts has said and give my humble two cents about it. Um, you know, it doesn't mean, uh, Cuts is harder to interpret than John Mueller because Matt Cuts is a professional rhetorician. That's why he makes these videos. That's why he's their figurehead because he, he's good at, uh, in, in avoiding the truth and even outright maybe fibbing and, or at least coloring things in a way that sounds better for them. That's why he's their, their figurehead. That's why he has 40 fanboys or 40 fangirls 
uh, all around him at any conference he goes to. You can't get near the guy. He doesn't need bodyguards. He has a sea of Google zombies around him uh, that, uh, that protect him like a magic cloak. Um, so he made some videos. Uh, so, so I'll just go through them quickly. So one, Cuts recently admitted that poor grammar and spelling in comments is fine. Now, this is how you have to interpret Google and understand the way they talk. And so this is my opinion, so you can, you can take it or leave it. But I have been in the industry for a while, and I have talked with these people at conferences, and I've figured out what's going on, and uh, I have a PhD in philosophy, and so I'm pretty good, or half of one. I quit because I can make more money doing this. And I was tired of the bull crap in that industry as well. Uh, and uh, I'm pretty good at detecting bull, bull crap at this point. So... Um, uh, so I'll interpret it, and you can take it or leave it. You can watch your videos. You can see if you agree with me or not. But Cut said that poor grounding and spelling in comments is fine. So this is how you have to pay attention. You said he's very specific. And whenever he's specific on something, he's avoiding something else entirely, and that's where the truth is, or that's where the stuff is going on. And so he said poor, uh, poor grammar and spelling in comments is fine, uh, but so, so to me this implies, and to me what he says is implying, and he has said before that it, they, they would use it, and they might use it, and I suspect they are using it now, that poor grammar and spelling in your main body of your article is not fine. That is not fine. That, as far as I can tell, what John Mueller has hinted at before, and what Cuts has hinted at before, uh, and what my own experiments seem to... Um, uh, uh, co uh, collaborate with, and what other people in the industry who've done experiments, uh, high-level people like Eric Lantries, for example, have collaborated uh, and, and mentioned things along these lines. I can't say exactly what he said because when I heard what he said, I was under a non-disclosure agreement. But poor spelling and grammar, to me, seems to me that it could be a quality factor, a pretty uh, good quality factor as well, as Matt Cutts has said previously. And um, so I think it could be a check mark in the, the bad column. It's not going to sync a site on its own, obviously, but if you have that plus search phrase anchor text plus an Insta blog installed, that could be enough for Panda, for example, you know, something like that. Okay, so that was, and that was on search engine land uh, that uh, he mentioned that. I don't know if it was a video or what it was. I just have search engine land in my notes, so maybe it was, uh, I think it was a video, but anyway. So he did make another video, and this was definitely a video. It was one heck of a video. It was a long video. He made a very interesting video about um, spam fighting. And this was kind of a, his own confessional, his own inconvenient truth, you know, aka Al Gore kind of confessional, you know, back in the day we spam fight. You know, he kind of went on with this thing. Um, uh, the spam. Um, so he talked about spam fighting, being a spam fighter. I, I, can't even, I can't even say the phrase, the straight face spam fighter. Like he's fighting cancer or something ridiculous, idiot. Um, and so he mentioned uh, the engineers, uh, he mentioned a couple things that were fascinating. Uh, one, uh, more, more, more on the philosophical, political level, uh, but, but some on the tactical SEO, uh-oh level. Um, he mentioned that the engineers themselves come up with what they will fight for spam reports. And they have other ways it comes in, AKA people filling out the web spam reports and writing other people out, that's how. Um, uh, and or their white hat cronies uh, that they've talked to for years at conferences telling them what the white hats think are going on uh, and things like that. Uh, and so it seems that these ways are, at very least he implied that these ways are random or person supply. And um, their engineers ask, he says, questions like, how are they ranking so high? When they, when they see something going on, they ask, how are these sites ranking so high? And they go in the background and check. Um, so I have a couple suggestions and a couple observations based off of that. One, if that is their their spam fighting method, which I which I already knew, right? Like they've already admitted this. I've already talked to them at conferences. I already suspected this is what they did. Um, if this is their spam fighting uh, uh, technique, it is laughingly rudimentary that their engineers are just thinking up ways that people could hack it and checking it out or getting spam reports or or the manual team is looking around and I mean don't get me wrong their manual team is not laughingly rudimentary uh, I mean it it is laughingly rudimentary in the, in the sense of how conceited and arrogant they are that they think they can think up what we're thinking of um, not that we're so smart um, we being SEOs and then bla other black hats uh, because that's not me of course um, 
but that they think they think that they can outthink us. Like they don't understand that system builders are not hackers. Those two kind of people think entirely differently. Yes, the system builders can think of ways the hackers can't because they built it. But the hackers are thinking of ingenu in ingenuitive ways that these guys are not and just can't because they just don't think the same. Um, these guys think of building it. These guys think of breaking it. It's a completely different way of thinking. Anyway, in my philosophical opinion. So in my opinion, um, if cuts, what they said is what they do, and I have every reason to believe it is, because this is the kind of thing that cuts would tell the truth about, because he's arrogant, just as arrogant as everybody else there is. Uh, well, you know, it flows from the top, so that's probably where it comes from. Um, and uh, it's, laugh it's laughable, to the, uh, laughingly rudimentary, if that's, the engineers just think up, uh, ways to make it better themselves using their search intuition, as, as Matt Cutts has called it numerous times, and, uh, and or just spam reports. However, they're doing a pretty darn good job of catching people with just that anyway, so maybe I should shut the hell up, <laughs> you know, for a number of reasons. Like, if they watch this and think, yeah, you know what it is, hey, well, let's step it up a notch. Like, they've already stepped it up en enough notches, I'm sure many of my viewers would agree. So maybe I should just quibble on my head and shut up, right? Um... And it shows me, I mean, and Matt Cutts has admitted that he reads Black Hat forums, and that's where he gets all his ideas, and they read Black Hat forums, and that's where they get all their ideas. Their top, their, their TCs, their top contributors, people like Matt Storms and Sash and those guys, they all tell them and talk to them about what's going on. And so that's how they do this, right? It's us laughingly rudimentary and good for us, because if they got efficient with it, like the NSA or the CIA or, you know, any real intelligence agency, because quite frankly, this is, this is intelligence. This is intelligence and counterintelligence, just like warring nations, except hopefully, so far, as far as I know, people are not being murdered over this. Hopefully. Um, you know, but <laughs> people are getting really upset. <laughs> you know, things are, it's getting a lot of money, it's getting involved. The more money, the more upset, the more likely for murders. Um, uh, you know, so it's, 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 it's luckily they, they haven't hired any black hat double agents as far as I know. If they did, they could clean this up in a week. If they hired me, they could, I could clean this up in a week. Uh, most of it, at least, you know, that's my conceited position. There's my arrogance coming out. That's my conceited position because I can see all kinds of ways and everyone like looks and they can see kind of ways you can get, get black hats going on. Then again, uh, I want to get to Matt Cutts, uh, linking video in just a second. Uh, but you know their their algorithms, even though they're completely rewritten, they were completely by written, uh, rewritten by Hummingbird. They are so uh, woefully dependent on links, uh, giving them the context and giving them the authority onto the old authoritative sites that are not on social, don't care about social. Um, that they're they're and I've mentioned this before, and it's easy to understand that their results are terribly bad, as Matt Kites has mentioned. I'll get to that in a second. That's the video I'll end with. In my giant Friday rant, um, so you know, but but that is a so if you if you but if, but if you think that way, that oh the links are too integral, they can never they found as much link spam as they can. Penguin is as good as it can be. The manual team is as good as they can be. Uh, they found as much link spam as they can. It's it, they can. It's safe to keep link spamming. That is a, a, that they can never find us. That is a dangerous way to think. I've said this before. They can find you. Never bet against Google when it comes to technology. Bet against them when it comes to their morality. Bet against them when it comes to their conceit. But never bet against them when it comes to their profit or their technology because you will lose every time. They could easily spend a billion dollars a year and not blink a flippin' eye. They could spend another billion dollars a year catching spammers, hiring another 100,000 people in the Philippines or India to, to be on the manual spam team. We already know that they have over 10,000 people in, in, a, in a huge call center in India, which was their manual team. You can watch a hangout by them. They're kind of their, their inaugural hangout. They put out uh, January 2012. That's a lot of people. They could easily throw another billion dollars at it if they really wanted to, if we really annoyed them and, and easily catch, you know, a billion more people, uh, so that's, uh, what, a million times? Sorry for my math on the fly, a hundred million times more. More spam they can easily catch if you just factor in the math. Never mind how good each person is at catching the spam. So um, don't ever bet against the technology. So that's a very dangerous way to think that, oh, they'll never catch it. They can't catch it. Don't ever let that thought cross your head. They can't catch it. Oh, yes, they can. The only question is, do they want to? Uh, that's the only question. Okay. And so here's a couple other things that were mentioned in that video that um, uh, I found very interesting. One, um, 
So here's my suggestion. If, they, if the engineers are looking at the SERPs and saying, how do they rank so high? Then don't. Uh, then here's a, here's a good suggestion. Don't rank so high. Don't go for, uh, for spot one to three. Go for spot four, five, or seven, uh, but on more SERPs, right? Go for long tail ranking, middle of the pack on more SERPs. You exponentially decrease. If what Cut said is true, and I believe it probably is, you exponentially decrease uh, the chances of them catching you uh, because you exponentially decrease the chances of them noticing because they're mostly concerned with the top positions. And then if the top positions are all Walmart and big brands, then they're happy because they're all they're a big brand too. So big brands like big brands. It is the old country gentleman's club. Um, also, he mentioned something interesting that Penguin attacks several exploits. Um, you know, it's just, it's just interesting to think, okay, well, everyone thinks it's links, and I know it's links and on-page keyword stuffing. I guess that's what they mean. But what other exploits could it be? Several? Several usually means like seven. If he said a couple exploits, I'd be like, okay, yeah, keyword stuffing. If he said a few, I'd be like, okay, yeah, keyword stuffing and anchor text and on-page. He said several. Then was that just misspoken, or am I reading too much into that? I, I very well could be. But it's just interesting to think, well, what else could it exploit? But... Attack. Like, what other exploits could it be attacking? But maybe they're adding to it. You know, again, that's the, the point. Um, he also mentioned that not to speak negatively about Google. Uh, I got the impression watching that video that speaking neg negatively about Google was taken somewhat seriously by them. And I have heard this before, and I have seen it before of people talking negatively about Google. Some slightly conspiracy theory people. Sorry if you're watching, uh, but some not so conspiracy uh, theory people and so don't talk negatively about Google they I got the impression based on what he was talking about that they have some algorithm that looks for bad press for Google I know they have an algorithm that looks for bad press period and that quite frankly he said and this is probably the most uh, terrifying thing is that he, he said the people had admitted they do attack individual spammers quote unquote quote unquote individual spammers they will go after them if you're spamming too much now, usually these are the guys who are doing way massive spamming, like the guys over in Russia or Eastern Europe who are doing way massive spamming, and, you know, uh, you know guys who are doing crazy, making like 10,000 sites and have like billions of links pointing at them, you know, and, and doing mass spamming like that, or hacking sites. They're really big on, on trying to work on algorithms to hack sites right now. Uh, to, to <laughs> Sorry, sorry. They're working on algorithms to get people who are hacking sites injecting links and things of that SEO nature right now. Um, yeah, not to be mistaken with what I previously said. Um, so yeah, so that was his uh, video on spam fighting I found extremely interesting. And then, as I promised, uh, I don't want this video to go on too much longer. This Friday crazy rant, I'm gone nuts. Uh, this corporation has put things in my brain. Um, uh, yes, my coat is brown. Um, uh, the, uh, yes, the February 20th video that Cuts mentioned about uh, links, uh, he directly contradicted my prediction for 2014, or, or you might think he did, but actually he didn't, because actually it's what I said. Um, he said that they can't remove links entirely, uh, because uh, in the February 20th video, because that the, the SERPs would be terrible. Now, I have a couple comments about this, and I'll do it quickly. One. Either that was a complete and total smokescreen, which is, seems to be their method of operation these days, to say the complete opposite of what they are doing, to try and throw people off the track, to not repeat that mistake they made telling us about links and page rank, as I already mentioned in this video and many other videos I've ranted. Either that was a complete smokescreen or it's not. I could, I could totally believe it. But the thing is, is that I still think in 2014 that they are going to remove the power of links somewhat and, and bring an up the power of social somewhat. I think it's not going to be an all or nothing. It's not a black and white. It's going to, they're going to dial down links a bit and dial up social. I think they're going to have to do this because negative SEO, if not in 2014, at least in 2015, because negative SEO is getting so rampant and uh, there's so much link spam. Now, admittedly, they could be very good at detecting it, at least think they are, or they're good enough that they don't really care otherwise. But you know, social is where the action is. No one's making links anymore, so they're going to have to follow it. And he fully admitted that in the video. So it's not a matter if they're going to do it. You know very well by this video and by everything else they've said, and I've said, it's only a matter of when. And I think this year could very well be the year that they dial up, maybe for some niches and some current topics. Or finally, they won't at all. I could be completely wrong um, that, that they're... they're 
and this is entirely possible and not even so hard for me to believe, that they are so... Because think about an IT company, think about a company. You never address your own website. You never address your own stuff. Their flagship application is Search, and they wrote it, you know, originally 12 years ago, and they claim to have just completely rewritten it. Uh, but maybe they didn't completely rewrite it as much as they claim, and, um, um, and it's still hopelessly reliant on links. And uh, Because think about what gets shared on social. It can get pretty spammy in the sense that it's memes that people find funny, but it's not what you want showing up on your search results. It has cats in it. Lol cats. <laughs> she looks at me stupidly. What are you doing in there? Um, you know, and so you know, any given SERP could have just ridiculous results and not be have the authoritative like government sites and stuff that they don't they're not on social, don't care about social, but they have you know a million links and that's why they show up. And so it's against their search intuitions. Of course, quality is a completely subjective determination, and it's the subjective determination they keep making. Well, it's not entirely subjective. It's social psychology subjective, and that they do statistic they do statistics to see what their test groups like and don't like. But you know, who knows what demographic they're using for that? They, I'm sure they don't use sample bias. I'm sure they've got you know these are big eggheads. I'm sure you know if I can think of it, they'll think of it right away. But but anyway, um, I digress. Uh, again, um, uh, it could be that their 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 algorithms are so hopelessly um, reliant on links, and that's positive for us. That's a good thing for us, uh, us SEOs, especially black hat SEOs, or especially SEOs uh, or people or or webmasters or small uh, businesses who still want to try and compete in these really spammy competitive markets. Because if you do linking right, and this is not linking right in 2010 or 11 or 12 or even 13. If you do ultra safe linking, and I can show you exactly what that is and how it works, if you do ultra safe linking, then it is less likely they will find you. But they do have 10,000, you know, who knows how many, at least at last count, 10,000 manual web spam people. And uh, tricking a human is way harder than tricking an algorithm. And their algorithms are getting almost as smart as humans anyway uh, when it comes to detecting link spam because everybody's writing themselves out when they're disavow file. So stop writing yourself out in the disavow file. And so, now my rant has come completely full circle. And on that uh, happy note, I will leave you for the weekend and uh, go drink more beer. So um, there's my rant for this week. Uh, next week I've got a special surprise for you. Uh, I might have a facelift. I might look different, uh, much prettier and sexier, in fact. Uh, so can't you wait for that? Um, so And I might be talking about social stuff. Uh, so, um, good luck in the SERPs, and uh, I'm sorry for the rant, and uh, I'm sure I'll be more charismatic next week. Uh, so, good luck in the SERPs, and we'll see you then. Bye-bye.